Yo, welcome to Music is a Day Job, brought to you by the Concert app, which is an artist accelerator that helps artists go from opener to headliner, and it gives the fan the opportunity to see some of the best independent entertainment in the world. Um, I'm your host, Sean. I'm also the CEO of Concert. This is Music as a Day Job, where you learn to turn music into your day job. You know what I'm saying? That's what we all want to do. So... One of the questions I got was, how do you create your rollouts? Now, for those that don't know what a rollout is, a rollout is when you take your, well, this is what we call a rollout. We call our rollouts basically when you take your song, whatever you're about to release, and you build a whole push around it. And so what a lot of people do, they just throw out the song. And then if it sticks, it sticks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then they go to the next song. And then they go to the next song. Then they just keep going and it's just like it's nothing built around it. And see, the thing is, is you want to give your fans and new people the opportunity to actually connect with your music. How can I constantly see your music and still be entertained? Because every time some people just keep posting the same song, keep posting the same song and they don't have anything else to go with it. So then if I see the same post multiple times, also as a fan, I'm going like, oh, he's just posting the same song. He's just posting the same song. So then I don't keep listening. And then some people don't even listen at all because they see the style of content it is. And they go like, oh, I'm not going to click that because it's just the same thing they posted the other day. So when you have a rollout, this means you're doing it from tons of different angles. You're creating a rollout to give more opportunity to people to see your song, for people to enjoy your song. And during my career, I wasn't the greatest at it. But the, the times I did it, it stuck. It got me it got me placements on Netflix. It got me um, it got me uh, tons and tons of views on some of my songs to where those songs went on to do more for me, make me money in different places and stuff like that. Um, a lot of some of them have even got me like a lot of shows, extra shows because of the publicity that was around it, how many people knew of the song and stuff like that. So what I would say is first thing you need, I split this into um, six different things. And the six different things I split this into is the actual song, the making of the video, the pictures at the video, the actual video, the content after, and then who you're pushing it to. So now I'm going to break this down like this because the first thing you need, you need the song. <laughs> now, so the song is the, the first piece you have to have is you have to have the song. So we all know, yes, you got to go record the song. You got to make the song, whatever song you're going to use for this rollout, whatnot. Is this your single, whatever you want to call it, however you want to do it. This is the song. This is the piece that I'm using. So I take this song. Then I always say the making of the video is because there's a lot of content that goes into the making of the video. So this is an intricate piece that you can, well, I wouldn't say intricate, but I'd say this is a, a piece that a lot of people miss. They, they actually don't pay attention to is that the making of the video and the things you're doing to get to the point of making the video is actually things people want to see. I don't know if you've seen a lot of people have done this thing where they show like what the video looks like when they recorded it versus what it looks like after it's finished. That's a that's a creative way of doing making the video now. And I don't know if you noticed a long time ago they used to uh, there was a TV show called Making the Video. And they go into the actual making of the video, which should be a place where you can build a lot of content around you taking the song to video form. Now, from the song, of course, you have all those pieces of the song that you can post. You can post the actual song. You can post a piece of the song. You can post the lyrics of the song. This is all rollout stuff. So you should be thinking about this when you're coming out with the song. You're going like, hey, I'm going to post these pieces of the song. I'm going to send it to these people. I'm going to make sure that everyone knows these parts of the song. Then when I go into making the video, what are the pieces of making that video that stand out to people? Where like how uh, can you can you can you go live? Can you do any of that stuff to make people come into that feeling of you making the video and why you're making the video look like this? If you actually make videos that mean something other than, you know, like like some people just go stand out in front 20 cars and two girls standing there. But if you're making like storyline videos and stuff like that, talk about it, you know, so people can be a part of that journey. Then when you get to the shoot, 
of course you need to take enough pictures to be your content on your on your instagram or wherever you're going to post content take pictures if you have video if you have video models take pictures with them those pictures and you you should sometimes you should have either a second photographer or a lot of times the videographer can actually take photos for you so then you're going to be in nice spots so like let's say you're going to be in spots that you usually wouldn't be in sometimes you're in spots where it's very nice visually so you need to take the pictures and see these things can be set up prior to the video that you don't have to say is in the video like let's say i'm going to a, a place like i'm going to a mountaintop I take some pictures up there and I can put these out as content. I don't have to say they're a part of video, but people are going to pay attention to the to that content. And go like, oh, he's up there. That's dope. Or I'm going to eat during the video and I'm having a dope meal. So then I'm getting the pictures taken of the meal. You know what I'm saying? So all that is all content. Then, of course, you have the actual video when you release it. And that actual video. Now, this is where I mean by the other content after the video is you have you have content that you can split between going short form or like fan form or long form so you have your full video of course which is great then you have short form and long form content which are things that you can possibly put based on the idea of the video like can i talk about like what went down in the video which that's more long form type things in the video then you have short form video pieces, which you may want to cut into snippets for reels and TikTok. So people just see those little pieces that might be important out the video that look dope or something like that. That people go like, oh, I need to go listen to this full song. Then you have things like fan content, which is like, for instance, I've had fans make dances to it. I've had fans, you know, do the dance that was in the video. I have fans that sing parts of the song. So then you can have that and you can repost that content if you have your fans make it and then you repost it or you have them just make it and you post it. And then you have like all those forms of content now. And then, of course, the last piece of the rollout is how you push it, which is which we kind of explained before, like what type of song is it? So how are you going to put it into the club or are you going to put it on publishing? Are you trying to put it on the radio? What are you doing? So then inside that part of rollout, the rollout, you can go back to the other video that I created that I talk about how you just basically pick a song and go like, this is how I'm going to make this song like this. And this is what this song is for. So then that's when I decide how I'm going to push the song but then like you see with the rollout it encompasses a lot of pieces of it so then you can probably go a whole month just talking about one song with all these different pieces of content and people won't get like they won't get bored they won't sit there and be like oh he's just posting the same thing they'll always be like oh it's something new it's something new but then this is all tied to this one song if you ever see a lot of big artists their rollouts like I like to call this like kind of like the poor man's rollout because with bigger artists, they do real big things like crazy things like, you know what I'm saying? Like when Drake was doing the lover boy joint, he he took some uh, basketball players like mom to like a like to like a stadium and he bought out the stadium. And then all this is tied to him being a certified lover boy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he's doing all this, which is part of his rollout that's that's big and making people pay attention to it. But you can do it for not spending that much money. Like just what you were going to spend for your video and just getting some extra pictures taken and then cutting your pieces of content different ways and doing that because then you get just as much content and just as much rollout as anybody else. And if you have all that rollout, then you're, you're, you're able to, to keep people's attention span longer than you would just giving them the song. So you want to be able to give them more and more so they don't get bored. And then that also covers up your content that keeps you in the consumer's mind or, or keeps you on the consumer's mind all the time. And it also gives you an opportunity to cover for all the content you may not do on a daily basis. And you can get that all in one small run and be like, hey, this weekend, once I shoot all these pieces, I'll have all this content. Now, me personally, I wasn't the greatest at it. But as I told you, when I did it, it helped a lot. Like when I did it correctly, it was amazing. It was just me figuring out how to do it because I was always doing multiple, like too many things at once. Like me in my career, I wasn't able to. Um, I did a lot of other things other than just being an artist. So because I was so caught up in other things, I just 
I would like let it slide. But if I'm an artist all day, every day, those moments when I was just an artist and that was the only way I wanted to do this, then it's perfect. Because when I hit it out the park, it's out the park. <laughs> but when I when I when I when I messed around and didn't do it, it was like you 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 knew you were like I didn't promote the song enough. I didn't push this song enough because people would be like, oh, I've never heard this song. And it'd be like six, seven months later. But then when I pushed the song and did my full rollout, people would tie it together. And they'd be like, oh, this is my favorite song. So every time they'd see the piece of content, they'd be like, oh, that's part of that song. So that's just basically how you should create a rollout. So take those pieces and then create your rollout. Make sure you know you're getting enough pieces of content to hold you over through a month if you're doing a song a month or you're doing a song every two weeks make sure you're getting enough to cover those two weeks or that month worth of content 